into a safe house until that they, they, they are processed. So until the, either the, the entertainment house, the restaurants, the whatever persons need these women. So they will stay in the house for like three, four, five days. Okay, and then the boat would take them to the next country in the Caribbean or the right, US yes, or yes. They're going to be or they will take them to the the brothels, or they will take them to the entertainment houses. So, for example, I may have an, an I may have a, a I'm just um, you, uh, uh, I may have a restaurant, and in in a, a part of the entertainment slot of my restaurant, I may have girls dancing or or in some restaurants or entertainment place in some countries you can go into the basement of these places or upstairs and uh, have sex have sexual intercourse with any any amount of women you want or any woman you want uh, based on the price but i will have so a guy may need about six seven eight women for his for his let's say restaurant for example or his uh, brothel house so I he may he may need six women. So when so th that safe house will supply that uh, that restaurant or, or or place with with these women. Wow, and it's so interesting that they would call it a safe house because it's anything but safe. <laughs> yeah, but yeah. Well, you see, because <laughs> and that's the chat. That's the idea is that they are not. You see, we see them as human traffickers. But they, they're seeing that they're legit, legitimate business people in their mind, d fulfilling a demand. One of the guys said that if I don't do it, sir, somebody else will do it. Because the, the, the demand for sex is very high in that part of the region. Because remember, in the Caribbean, has one of the largest brothels in the world. Oh, wow. we, we found 86 brothels in the region that had uh, had five or more persons in the stable 86 so this is so this is something that has been going on for years wow and is, what about labor trafficking you yeah uh, and what what are um who are the labor trafficking victims are they mostly men some women and what right. do, what are they labor trafficked to do well well a, a lot of the the persons who are are trafficked for for labor tend to be uh, ex-migrants person, let's say from, from, from Asia, from Africa, from places they are, and also in the, do, in, as domestic servants, um, also in, in the, in the fields, they, they are, they are traffic, especially Haitians, for, for example, they, they are being trafficked against the will because a dollar in your country might be, uh, uh, $10 in your country might be a, a huge amount in in um, uh, different countries so you have a lot of labor trafficking and uh, if, for example people who are domestic servants also sometimes I met I met a woman and um, we, we were, I had the opportunity so she had this person she bought the woman from from a supplier so she had her she, she, she told me she paid like maybe about um, let me see my notes about Fifteen hundred dollar US for her, so she bought and she brought her home to work and she worked seven days a week. And I said, "Do you give her money?" She said, "Well, I give her some money to take to give her, to give her to give her so that she can send home to send send to her, her country." I said, "How much money you got?" Sometimes she get like you know five hundred dollars, uh, fifty dollars a week, or fifty dollars every two weeks, and she will send that to her home. And I said, "Do you send that money to your home?" And she said, "Yes," and to her. That is a huge amount of money. Yes. Okay. I yes. see. Yes. See. Now, I these traffickers. What about what age range would you say typical traffickers are, and what are what's what are their what's their race or their ethnicity? <laughs> well, for example, uh, well, trafficking in, in from from our research is a male dominated industry. Okay. okay. However, we we find we also find that. That found that that women are also involved in it, but the women who are involved in it, one of the characteristics is that either they were victims be before, or they are they are in close association with the the male um, uh, human traffickers. So either they are their 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 closely related either either family, or or, or through uh, a, a relationship. So, so the so the women are very very close to the to the main persons, 
um, age range most in my opinion most human trafficker are uh, traffickers are between the ages of let's say 25 and and 40 but but especially in canada for example we see a lot of human traffickers that are under the age of 25 but but in our opinion within the region we see most of these persons are, are within that age uh never been married be never been married okay and what is your what is what did your research or your questionnaire say about uh if these traffickers have ever been arrested have ever had a criminal record about concerning anything yes yes so what we also found out that most of the traffickers most of the traffickers do not have criminal record some of them have never been arrested for human trafficking activities so what we're seeing is that we in the the, the authorities may be going after the wrong set of persons yeah yeah you see because we have a perception of who who a human trafficker is that based on the authority mm -hmm. but from our research the normal persons okay wow persons who have never been arrested it's a, it's for them it's a business they are supplying a market okay okay so so they are they they are supplying a market because there is a huge demand for uh, for that okay but let's say uh you know prostitution is illegal in the caribbean yes or no yes prostitution is, is illegal in the in the caribbean the most caribbean countries but there are a few countries that that you know turn a blind eye on it like uh, barbados like uh, antigua uh you know, turn a blind eye in it, Trinidad in in a sense, you know, turn a blind eye in it. Yes, yes. But so, but after after the work that you all have done, what do you think some of the responses should be now that you've uncovered um all of this incredible work and people who really aren't um aware of what they're doing in terms of or, or at least saying that they're do, they're conducting business they don't have the same perceptions that we have what what do you think should be done in the future well what well what should happen for example uh, um, it's you see human trafficking uh, hu uh, human trafficking is a is a is a crime is the in my opinion okay I, I believe, for example, we should have a very a new definition of human trafficking. And from my research, uh, I, I believe that 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 human trafficking, just my simple research, is the exploitation of person of a person's vulnerability for economic gains. Okay, and that vulnerability uh, that vulnerability um, could be physical or, or mental. It could be uh, could be uh, economics. Okay could be uh, uh somebody might be a, uh, might be an uh, irregular migrant okay and what also should happen the whole idea of human trafficking should be marketed should people should know about it people should know because many persons are not aware of 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 this crime that exists and also we should try to they should have some sort of um you know uh uh, symposium or some some sort of uh, uh, national discussion on 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 um, on the topic. Wow, that I think the work that you have done is amazing. It's it's not only amazing; it's courageous. Um, it is so much needed, and I know you happen to be from Grenada yourself. Yes, correct? yes, I was originally born and, in Grenada. Yes, but now you live in Canada. Yes, yes. Uh, and so, what does the future hold, you know, for Dr. Justin? What's, what's <laughs> next on your agenda? Well, well, we we do a lot of research, and um, and we now in the process of of doing a lot of of writing. It's, it's, it's a study. It's a field. The human trafficking industry is a field that I'm very very interested in. But but we also I'm mean, also interested in research. I do a lot of research, a lot of data analysis, a social research um and uh we think we think that the, uh, the 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 information now should we we're now in the process of writing the information uh, publishing the, the these uh, findings and making people aware because there's no body of knowledge 
on uh, on the subject area in the region, if, if so, but very little. Wow. Again, your work is incredible. And now you enter the writing phase. I know that I'm pretty excited because you asked me to collaborate with you on that piece of it. Yeah. So that's going to be really exciting. And then I know you just um, established a nonprofit yes. uh, arm of your business. So what's that called and what, what do you plan to do with that? Okay. Well, yes, um, we have a nonprofit organization by the name of uh, Can Caro. And this is the um, can uh, Canadian um, and anti uh, trafficking and migration organization. So what we will do, we will we are look, trying to look um, or seek out the affairs or, or the protection of of of, of, of victims of, of of trafficking in person. We try to to assist them. We also would um, you know receive receive donation. But what what in, what is the most important? We are working in collaboration with most of the countries within the region. To assist and uh, to and to be the the vanguard for persons who are um, trafficked. So we, we will be linking with other non uh, other anti uh, human trafficking organization. So so we look to provide assistance for um, to, um, to them and collaborate on on future ac um, activ um, activities. Well, I love that because that isn't just going in and collecting the data which is amazing enough, but then to also have the heart to go in and form a nonprofit yes. and come back and give back to people yes. who need it uh, so much. Yes. So um, thank you so much, Dr. Justin. And how, if people want to get a copy of this report, want to talk to you more, want to have you as a presenter, because this is really so much information about traffickers that we don't have. Yes. Yes. Uh, we need to know the mindset and the perspective yes. and the strategies, yes. and you have those. So how do people get in touch with you if they want to learn more? Well, well thank you um, again. Uh, they could, uh, well, my name is, uh, is um, um, they can call me. My phone number is uh, 647-966-4783. That is 647-966-4783. Or they can email me. And my email address is c justinepierre at gmail.com. That is c j u s t i n e p i e r r e at gmail.com. And obviously, they can um, Google our company's website, which is uh, dpbglobal.com. D as in done, P as in Pierre, B as in Barnett, dpbglobal.com. And um, you know we continue to do good work. Right now, we are are conducting a a research for the Caricom for for the for the Caricom Court of Justice, uh, conducting a research on bail reform, and uh, within the Caribbean region, so within the, the countries of Jamaica, um, Antigua and Barbuda, Barbados and Guyana, we are now currently conducting this this research, and we we look forward to do good work. Because one of the good things we have is that we have one of the largest databases, so we 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 can do very good tracer studies. If you so we can know we know where where the, most of the migrants are, where 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 most of the persons from the diasporas are in a, in over twenty two countries. Wow! Is, is there any advice that you would like to leave for advocates who are listening and they're all over the world and they want to make a difference as well? Do you have any advice for them? Yes, yes, I, uh, I would say uh, re uh, read the subject, uh, spend time on the subject. But, you know, um, I mean, we are, are um, according to some of my friends, we are baptized in this. I mean, we, we, I spend maybe six, seven hours a day, every single day reading. We read almost every article on human trafficking on the Internet, every, you know, UN report, every report, we read it. So we put it in our database, all of the all of the data. We analyze it, analyze their data, and make it into a study because there's it's a new business, it's a new field. In five six years, uh, um, you know, people would be would be um, you know hope, ha hope hopefully having a degree in human trafficking research, but because because now there's nothing nothing. Right